I mean, back then, true freshman winning the Nationals was not a common thing. You did it. Your only loss was in November, and you beat the guy later in the year. It's like that. That back then was one of the. It obviously, still is, but you know, a season that people were like, "This freshman is is just on the track to be the next Pat Smith." And now we see freshmen win all the time. Do you think mm-hmm. it's because the RTCs? Oh, I think so. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's probably a, a lot of a lot of things, but I think that's probably one of the biggest things. You know, I think of, you know, a guy like Gable Stevenson. Uh, what, what's he going to do? I mean, even as an eighth grader, a ninth grader, who's he going to wrestle with? Mm-hmm. I mean, 240 pounds. You know, he, he, <laughs> needs, he needs guys to push him. I mean, he's not going to find a high school kid in the area to push him. You know, he's going to be bored, you know, so... You know, for the for the high level guys, that's you know, that's how they jump levels. That's how they stay sharp, right? Um, Did you go to and, Tokyo with Gable? Uh, I didn't. Um, I actually had uh, my my first child, my my daughter, um, two weeks before. Oh wow! Didn't, didn't plan it out very well. And, uh, <laughs> Congrats, and, though. Yeah, thank you. So I, yeah, you so I decided to look- stay back and and uh, be a father. Shout shout at the TV like the rest of us in one of the craziest oh, yeah. finals oh, matches yeah. I've ever seen. <laughs> and it really wasn't bad because that those first couple of weeks doing a late night feeding, I was like, yeah, I'll do these. Yeah. When the Olympics is on, I got these no problems. So I'd, I'd just be up watching wrestling and like, oh, yeah, doing some feeding. So that, that worked out good. But yeah, I was up 6 a.m. screaming and uh, wife came down and <laughs> she, she knew exactly what I was screaming about. So yeah. It's cool. Now I have I I love those memories of getting up at like four or one in the morning. You pop on Twitter, all the wrestling people are up and and you know we're watching the worlds or the Olympics, and that one was crazy because it felt like I don't know if David Taylor and Gable were the same day or like subsequent days, but it just seemed like and Gilman almost won, so he had a goya. It's like every match felt like it was just it was like you're a high school team and you're in the finals at every weight, and it was just right. so fun to watch USA do that. I can't I can't wait for uh, obviously this year, but. You know, Paris twenty four. It's gonna be yeah. awesome. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's, it's exciting. Think, yeah, that was, that was wild. Do you think Gable's wrestling ever again? I think he would like to. Um, I, I, I mean, I, I think so, but I, I cannot say for sure. Yeah. Um, I, I can say that he wants to. That you know, any of the conversations that I've had with him, I mean, maybe gonna be twenty two years old, or you know, he, I mean. What do you do? Right. <laughs> so like, crazy. For most people, your senior level career is just about to begin. Mm-hmm. And uh, obviously, yeah, you've got a lot more left. And it would, you know, I, yeah, it, it, it just, it, his wrestling is uh, 22 and, and the things that he can do. Um, it'd be a shame if he didn't wrestle again. It would that. be. Especially, I want to see him against those big Iranians. Right. They have some yeah, great yeah, heavyweights yeah. right now. Would like to see him and Zaire. Uh, oh yeah, Iranian. That, that that would be a good one that we looked at and hadn't happened. So I think that would be a very very fun matchup. Yeah. Now I hope he comes back. It's a. Uh, it's just crazy to think how good he is. And I had Cole Conrad on. You know, another Minnesota heavyweight legend. Mm-hmm. He's like Gables in his own league, man. He's like it's not mm-hmm. even close. Like what what was your experience coaching him uh, when you were at the U? Um. Yeah, I mean, he was just very clearly different. Um, yeah, he, he's, him and his family are from Northwest Indiana and they moved to uh, Minnesota when he was, I say seventh grade. They went to Apple Valley and, and I was coaching, coaching there twice a week, uh, kind of on the side. And that was when they had a, and they had a good team. They had Seth Rose, Mark Hall. I mean, they had some, some hammers and, um, and those guys have obviously done incredible things. Mm-hmm. But then I see this kind of pudgy, you know, middle schooler. And then you watch him, and it's like, whoa, what, what is this? Like, didn't at the time, didn't I mean, now he looks like it. He looks the part. At the time, he did not look the part. Just sitting there goofing around, and it was, you know, you could just tell this guy is going to be just something different. Um, I mean, you don't have to be a genius to see that, but yeah, I mean, a fun guy to work with. You know, even at that point, I could show the highest level technique. Do you know stuff I'm working on, and he can just pick it up. You know, and um. I mean, he's 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 a student of the sport, you know, very much so. Um, very technical, and he puts in the time, and you know, very enjoyable to work with. And I love that we've seen him down and how he responds. Like I think about that Big Ten Finals his freshman year at Minnesota, 
that had to be to him one of the biggest turning points in in his career and certainly you know two weeks later as well but at minnesota as a freshman that was that's one that sticks out to me and then but i'm also thinking about that that match in the finals like he was the momentum in the first period was going his way so much and then it kind of turned around like you know like those those momentum shifts are hard to come back from and that's just how the heart he has like to be able to fight through that is crazy i mean talents on 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 unmatched but the will to come back from something like that or stay in that match was insane yeah and it, and i think for for him part of it was he never he it was rarely ever in matches that were tight or, or really was pushed like when i think about for me you know i was in some cold battles you get and you figure out how to win those close ones right um how to stay in matches how to pull things out for him he was so dominant um the high school level i mean what high school heavyweight was going to and, you know, be Get out of here. Him, you know, <laughs> yeah. and so when he did find himself in, in those scenarios, you know, I, I think for, at that point it was probably just strategy and and you know some of those little things you learn with experience are being in those situations, which you really mm-hmm. was never in those situations, right? But, that's the that's the crazy part. Yeah, it's he's. I hope he comes back, Gabe. If you're listening, come on back. We we'd love to have you. It's it's crazy to think how many titles he could rack up. I know he's probably not going to do it every year, but man, what? It'd be crazy. And then you got to think 28's in LA to do it at home. Yeah, All right. those guys who wrestled in Atlanta in 96 say there's nothing like it. So hopefully yeah. uh, LA 28 pulls him, pulls him back.